In the past decade, new parties have risen across Europe, promoting the sovereignty of the people, with mainstream and centrist parties receiving less attention. Social media has been an important tool in the expansion of the populist message and it is thought to have contributed to electoral success of populist parties. As the importance of online advertising became apparent, major online platforms took steps to provide increased transparency when it comes to political advertising. One such effort is the Meta Advertisement Library. This study compares how populist parties advertised on Facebook during the 2019 European parliamentary elections in the top five countries in Europe by population. We obtain about 45,000 advertisement campaigns created by 39 different parties. These parties have been subdivided as establishment parties, far right, far left, low skeptic, and populist parties. In detail, our research questions are about communalities and differences within populist parties and between populist parties and other parties, so establishment parties. Communalities and differences are also analyzed both in terms of audience reached and in terms of contents. We found many differences in the demographic reach by age and gender for different tags. Overall, populist, far-right and uh, eurosceptic parties tend to reach more male audiences. These parties also reach older audiences on average. Far-left audience is more age and gender balanced. While populist parties represent just over 20% of the total expenditure on political advertisements, they account for 40% for 40 of the total impressions. Publish advertisements looks more effective or engaging on Facebook. We also analyze the text content of the advertisement campaigns, trying to understand if the contents of populist parties is different from those run by other parties. For answering this question, we conducted an open coding procedure for labeling the advertisements and creating a classifier. We found that uh, the topic of an advertisement can often be enough to distinguish a populist advertisement from non-populist ones, regardless of the country of origin. We observed that far-right, eroskeptic and populist parties are very often grouped together. In general, these parties focus more on euro, bureaucracy, illegal immigration, law and order and institutions such as the police. Also, they advertise significantly less on climate change. We also try to understand if populist parties across Europe have something in common. With a similar procedure, we found that there are just few cross-country effects shared by populist parties. One of those is that populist, far-right and eurosceptic parties underrepresent environment issues in their advertisements, while overrepresenting those related to security. Overall, we noticed that uh, even if there are some commonalities among populist parties across Europe, the country-level effect, uh, effect differences seem to be more important.